Thank you for being here this morning. Uh, we're here to announce uh, the formation of a violent crime task force that is going to specifically target gang violence and violence uh, in this county or wherever it leads us. Um, we have a, a lot of people that are going to be involved in this. I'm going to read a list of our partners in this endeavor. Uh, the mayor of West Palm Beach is here, uh, Mayor James. Uh, we have Ed Nucci from the U.S. Attorney's Office, uh, our prosecutor, Dave Ehrenberg, uh, Chief Adderley from West Palm Beach. Uh, we have Lieutenant uh, Walker from uh, Riviera Beach, DEA, uh, Sheldon Burkett, Homeland Security Investigations, Eric Chan, ATF, Bob Shirley, from the FBI, Maria Lampart, and from FDLE, Frank Marcirio, and from the U.S. Marshal's Office, Manny Puri. So you can see that we've assembled the best law enforcement team that has been assembled in a long time for this task force. So wherever this takes us, we have tenacious prosecutors and our state attorney here and the U.S. Attorney's Office. We have mayors that are committed to this and we have other law enforcement agencies and professionals across the board. One of the reasons that I supported Mayor James when he was running for mayor is the conversations that I had with him on the proactive stance that he's willing to take to take this violent crime out of our neighborhoods. So when he came to me and he says, this is my idea, you know, I want to start a task force again, can you know, can, can you put this together? I was thrilled to death, Mayor, that, that you came up with this idea and wanted to do it because we've done it in the past and it's paid off. But to have these law enforcement professionals here and our partners from our federal uh, agencies is outstanding. And we believe, looking at this board, that's just a start. We've identified 10 gangs that we believe are the worst in this county that operate not only in this county but throughout South Florida, and we're going to go after them. So having said that, I'm going to turn it over to the mayor first, and then if there's anybody else that wants to make some comments, we'll do that. Mayor? Thank you, Sheriff. Uh, first, on behalf of the city of West Palm Beach, uh, the West Palm Beach Police Department, and Police Chief Frank Adderley, I want to express my sincere thanks and appreciation to you, Sheriff, uh, and the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office for joining us in this effort. Uh, Sheriff, you and the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office are a wonderful partner to the city of West Palm Beach. We know we can always count on you. Thank you. And of course, a special thank you to our other partners in this effort. Uh, the Sheriff has listed them, the Palm Beach County State Attorney's Office, Riviera Beach Police Department, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, Federal Bureau of Investigation, Drug Enforcement Administration, U.S. Attorney's Office, U.S. Marshal's Office, U.S. Department of Homeland Security, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, and the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. With Operation First 48, we stand together in sending a strong message to the bad guys. You will not control our neighborhoods. Violent crime will not be tolerated in the city of West Palm Beach or in Palm Beach County. We are here to tell them we are taking our city we are taking our county back. Now, as many of you know, I campaign on a platform of public safety as job number one and neighborhoods first. I promise to bring agencies together to combat violent crime. Operation First 48 is how I'm fulfilling that campaign promise. More importantly, however, we are taking this action for our residents. When I was on the campaign trail, I spent a lot of time meeting with residents and hearing their concerns. I met a single mother in one of the neighborhoods that we will be targeting who would not allow her children to play outside because she was concerned for their safety. I met another young woman from that neighborhood who, having witnessed a crime, was afraid to call 911 out of fear of retribution from the bad guys. I also met a young family who resided in that neighborhood whose children, young children, were witness to open air drug sales. Look. Our residents have got to feel safe. I don't care whether you reside in Ibis, our most expensive community, or in Pleasant City or Coleman Park, you as a resident deserve to feel safe and secure in our neighborhood, in our city, to attract visitors and economic development to our great city. We all must feel safe. So again, thank you, Sheriff, and to all of our partners and assisting agencies, we look forward to working with you on Operation First 48 to make our city safer. Thank you. Well, good morning. I'm Dave Ehrenberg, State Attorney for Palm Beach County, and I'm honored to be here today joined by a group of dedicated law enforcement professionals from city, county, state, and federal agencies. 
What you're seeing here is an example of seamless law enforcement where we're all working together to keep our community safe because the number one role of government is to protect the safety of our community. And so there are no turf wars here. We're all working together towards the same goal. And Mr. Mayor, thank you for your leadership. Uh, I say this not just as state attorney for Palm Beach County, but as a resident of West Palm Beach. And we hope that this effort will also encourage victims and witnesses to speak up. Because when it comes to prosecuting these cases, as Ed Nucci could say at the federal level and we can say at the state level, we need people to say something if they see something and not be afraid to come forward. And if you can see by this overwhelming show of, of uh, law enforcement support that we want to work with the community to make it as safe as it could possibly be. And I think this effort will go a long way. These cases will be prosecuted by our organized crime unit headed by uh, Craig Williams, Chief Assistant, and Andy Slater. And also I want to mention the great work of Bill Frazier who is here today who's a lead investigator. So I want to thank you all for being here today. Let the message get out to the community that West Palm Beach and Palm Beach County will target violent crime and make our streets the safest that they can possibly be. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay. I'm going to give you the list of the top ten gangs that we're after. That doesn't mean there's not other ones out there, but we just believe that these are the ones like the, the firehouse gang over here, Click, that we're most interested in. It's the other firehouse uh, gang in Riviera Beach, MS-13, the Bloods, Manic Latin uh, Disciples, Camp 19, the Downtown Gang, the Latin Kings, ZMF, Avenue S, the Knock Gang, and the Andy Gang. And the reason I want to have those names put out is because I want them to know we're coming after them. So they can look over their shoulders. Don't go to sleep. Because at 2 o'clock in the morning, we're going to kick your door down and we're going to take you to jail. Because this show of force that's right here, and this is a show of force. This is the force of law enforcement going to get rid of these thugs that are in our community, going to take them out of there so people can walk down the street safely. They can go to the convenience store safely. They can work in the parks, live in the parks safely, and not be afraid of the terrorists, these little thugs that are in our community. So we're going to take them out of there. This is just a start yesterday, and the next time we have a press conference, you're going to see four or five of these boards around this room, and our community is going to be much safer than it is today. So having said that, we'll take some questions. Yes, sir. Um, is there a direct correlation between illegal immigration that we've been seeing kind of like dripping into the county with the increase in these gangs, especially the, the Latin ones or the Hispanic ones? Not necessarily. I mean, you know, the gangs are an equal opportunity employer. They'll take anybody they can. It just so happens that there are some gangs that are just mostly Latin, but you got white people in the gangs, you got black people in the gangs, you got mixed origin in the gangs. It's just they decided that it's better to do crime than it is an honest day's worth of work. So, no, the immigration thing is really not anything to do with it. But having said that, the reason we have HSI, which is Homeland Security Investigations, is the gangs are also involved in human trafficking. So let me just tell you, folks, temp, there's a rule out here. Ten percent of the bad guys do ninety percent of the crime. That's what it is. So we're going to go get these ten people, these ten gangs, and get them out of here. Anybody else? Pardon me? How big are these gangs? It depends. Some of them could be as small as 15 or 20. Some of them could be as, as high as 60 or 70. It doesn't matter. We're going to take every one of them. Right? We're not going to piecemeal them. We're going to see just what you saw over there. When we go after them, we're going to get them all at once. Yes, ma'am. And kind of two questions. First, so this is called Operation First 48, correct? Yes. Right, that's what, okay, I just wanted to make sure that that was the official title. And then as far as like efforts to crack down on them and take them down, is there anything that um, y'all will be doing differently as far as your approach to this? Is it just the seamless effort? Is there going to be more beefed up patrol, new technology, you know, anything to help with it? Well, that's a good question, and I'm not going to answer that because that's an operational issue. 
let's put it this way. We're going to use every single resource and investigative technique that we have at our disposal to go after these gangs and arrest them. We, we know what to do. This is organized law enforcement. You know, organized crime has been out there for a long time. Organized law enforcement is getting our act together, and we're good at it. And this is what you can, you can look forward to. So there's a lot of expertise here. There's a lot of experience over the years on how to go get these bad guys. And I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, the bad guys ought to be shaking in their boots because we're coming after you. Sure. Yes, ma'am. Why now? Was there something in particular that... Well, it's, it's, it's not exactly now. You can see that for two years we've been working on this one. We're just ramping it up. You know, uh, there's been an uptick in shootings here in the last eight or nine months. So it, it's brought it a little bit closer to the, the, the forefront. But don't forget, you know, Christmas Eve, a gang member shot and killed one of our dogs. About three weeks ago, MS-13 guy shot one of my deputies. You know, when you assault law enforcement, you're assaulting the most visible part of government that represents the community. It's bad enough that they're in the communities doing what they're doing, but when you get to where you're, you don't care about what represents this community, which is law enforcement to protect them, and you're going to assault them, you've crossed that bright red line. And today, this bright red line is drawn in the sand, and nobody's going to cross it again. Yes, ma'am. Sure, you mentioned um, the mayor kind of approaching yes. this idea. Talk about that with new leadership in the mayor's office at West Palm Beach Police. Um, you guys kind of coming together on this. Well, I'm going to let you talk to the mayor about that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, uh, Sheriff. And that, that's a very good question. Uh, listen, as I said in, during my prepared remarks, I made no secret of the fact that I felt that public safety was job number one. I campaigned, I campaigned hard on it, and I was fortunate enough to, to get elected by the voters, and so I certainly wanted to stick to that promise. Uh, over the past two or three years, we've had an increasing number of violent crimes, indeed murders, in our city and in a very narrow, uh, well-defined geographical area in our city. And uh, one of the other promises I made is that every time there was a murder in our city, I would be there. And unfortunately, in my only two months in office, I've had to attend three of those incidents. So to me, it was very top of mind for me. And uh, I felt uh, that there was a change that was required uh, at the top of the police department, so I've made that change. Uh, I've had conversations not only with the new chief, and as the sheriff has said, he and I have had conversations on how do we end these violence? How can I get my communities back for the residents, the young mothers, the young families who have kids there who want to reside in those communities? So it was very top of mind for me, and uh, I I'm happy to say uh, that the sheriff has uh, agreed to work with us on this, and you know we put this uh, one wonderful team together, and I'm looking forward to the results. And by forming this task force, I guess, Sheriff, this is more for you, does yeah. this allow you to go into each other's jurisdictions a little bit more? Well, it's not, it's not a matter of that, because we could do that anyhow. What, what this does is it gives us more tools in the tool, tool bag, all right? Look, the gangs don't care where they're at. They don't know if they're crossing into Broward County, Palm Beach County, if the gangs in Palm Beach are going down there, or the gangs from down there are coming up here. So we want to be able to go anywhere we need to go in South Florida. That's why the federal partners are so important to us, because we're, not, we're just not going to worry about where we're going. We're just going to go after them to get them. So we've done this before. I mean, there's a lot of people that weren't here 10 years ago when I went after the, uh, the gangs real hard then. And we took 10 of the worst gangs out of this county. So it's time to go back and revisit it because, you know what, the gangs are like a virus and a cancer. You might get rid of it for a while, but they're going to come back. So now we're going to go back and cut them out again, without a doubt. So if you're a bad guy and you're a gang member out there, here we come. Start looking over your shoulder and don't go to sleep. Guarantee you. Thank you, folks.